he recorded that song <laughs> on this day, his debut single of all things. Moses Good morning, was everyone. Like, <laughs> I was that was my alarm clock. I was not awake before you started singing. There I was like, go. oh That's my god. What we're trying to do here. You're your people's alarm clock. That's exactly right. That's what we do here. Folks, we have a very special guest joining us in studio. As you can see, headliner from the Funny Bone comes in every Friday. It's Funny Friday around here, and we do have the headliner, Moses Storm, joining us in studio. Yes, Michelle. Welcome. Thank you guys so much for having me. Thanks for hanging out with us, man. It's great. I've been here all night. I didn't want to wake up early, so I slept <laughs> right here. You got the tea going here. Yeah. I have the tea going. Yeah, I works. think that's tea. Yeah. There was something that was leaking. It looked like an air conditioner. I just put this <laughs> under there, and here I am. Whatever works, huh? Yeah. Well, well, good to have you here, man. And it sounds like you had a decent crowd last night, and a lot a of great people time. that uh, you know understood your your comedy and understood your humor because you've been on TV quite a bit. Yes, yeah, including last week. Uh, we were I was just telling you off the air we were getting ready for the show today, and our new assistant producer uh, is going. Oh, okay, here's a guy coming up at the funny one. I just saw him on Conan. This is the assistant producer is a cat. This, this, yeah, this is this is working the keyboard. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, working the keyboard. But you were just on Conan. Last yeah, it was. Week. Yeah, I got to go back and do that show again, which is great. That, that's all I I really watched growing up. Really? Was okay. that show. And we weren't really allowed to watch it, but I would secretly record it at night. You would sneak and, it. And uh, yeah, so as a, as a comedian, it, it meant a lot to me to do that show. No, did it, it take you a while to kind of work that to get on the show, or did you get in there? Yes, quickly? it is. It is quite a process. A process you have to like yeah. keep submitting sets, and then whatever's <laughs> word perfect for their show, they finally approve. And uh, yeah, it was like a good year and a half. Good was it that you. long? Yeah, from like, hey, we want you to do the show to actually being on the show. Right. What was that? Some of the things that you had to be, did, did, were certain parameters you had to follow? or? Yeah, there's certain like stuff that has to be advertiser friendly, which I'm sure you run into. They're mm -hmm. like, hey, please stop singing on the air. We're trying to sell <laughs> paper towels here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, good but, job. Yeah, there were certain things like that. They, yeah. they had also requested so that you I, cut I don't out all sing. the singing parts of your set, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. So that really took me down to maybe three seconds of material I had when you mm. take out all the singing, because most of my stuff is singing. Okay. Not, <laughs> do not come no. to that. It's no, it's you will not. be severely disappointed. That was more directed to you, my friend. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so what was? What so was, it, what it is like oh, it's the and they, and it's like switching out different uh, just uh, pronouns and, and sentence structure to larger things that you would think of, of like, oh yeah, that might not uh, be sensitive to every, every, uh, every, every person that's watching the show. So they really try to kind show. of fine tune your performance. Yes. Yeah, which is which is uh, just strange. Which is good, really I, I imagine, it is or good. it could overall, be a little frustrating too. I would it imagine. went well, and I got invited back to the show. So overall, I was like, yes, this yeah. is great. And so I the first time was the roughest it. time, just trying to get down to the first time. Then you proved you could follow yeah. their rules, right? It wasn't as hard as trying to get onto this show. Mm -hmm. no, the no, submission no, process for this was. Yeah, that's right. It's <laughs> time. It was it's seven tough. years. They <laughs> made me wait. They made me solve this riddle that's behind me. It's a puzzle, like anything else. Yeah. Is does is there? You should go down. This is a real life. Sculpture that That's is right. downtown. You can see it in person, and you can, then you okay. might be able to solve it. You can, you can walk right in the middle of that. As a matter of fact, you can walk in the middle of that. In the middle of that structure behind you. Right That's there. great. I'm all hopped up on cold medicine. I'll try to solve <laughs> this. You go. Have you found words in there? Uh, actually, to be honest with you, I haven't even looked for words in there. We just saw a bunch uh -oh. of letters and just scrambled it. Now we're gonna have to look for words. Is this your first visit park. to Des Moines? Mm, I played the the colleges before, but I haven't really not spent a lot of time here. But I love it. I love all the tan buildings. I had no idea there were <laughs> so many buildings. shades of different tan. <laughs> but does it kind of bring you like you're at home then? Because I told everybody where you grew up. Uh, originally from Michigan. Okay. We traveled around a lot growing up. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I guess it brings no, me home. Where in Michigan did you grow up? In Kalamazoo, which Kalamazoo. sounds like a made-up place. No, it's a great, it's a real place. It's a real yeah, place. Yeah. It's a very silly name. It sounds like if you're like lying does, like, and you're yeah, trying to no. be like, uh, Cala and then whatever you can think mm -hmm. of. Right. Yeah. Now, were you uh, a big sports fan growing up? Being in Michigan, there's a lot of big sports teams in Michigan. Oh, I could name all the sports. Yeah. Uh, n yeah. I mean, uh, Michigan State, you can think you have to. Yeah. Everyone roots for them. Okay. It, it's yeah. one or the other. Michigan or Michigan State. You're a Michigan Stater? Yes. Okay. Yes. So you're uh, still keeping the hope alive? I'm keeping it really falling off for the past few years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that works. What, what, you're a younger guy. What, how, what got you into kind of stand up? And kind of give us a feel of what kind of your style is. Oh, yeah. So it's all scream comedy. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you get in people's face. Like, why are you living that way? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> kind of Sam Kennison. Real intense. Uh, yeah, really. Yeah, okay. Sam Kennison yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah. Uh, with just the volume and not the talent. <laughs> uh, it's been most of my reviews. 
No, it's um, I, I I don't know how I would describe my. Were you funny growing talent? up, and then the thought, well, I mean, kind of. What, yeah, what well, it was honestly good? not being good at anything else to really answer your question. <laughs> it was like it was eighteen. And everyone asked me, like, "Hey, what are you what doing are you do? with your life?" And uh, I was like, "Well, this is the only thing I could do. I could barely read, so I'll do this." Uh, oh, so, what comics did you like when you were growing up? Who did you know, and you don't like to like model yourself after somebody? But who did you enjoy when mm -hmm. you were growing up? It's funny when you ask that question now, you have to kind of search your brain to be like, ooh, who wasn't uh, recently involved in a scandal? Mm, you have to it get, seems like, get the yeah, filter on. Comedians yeah. have gotten in trouble. Um, so I was a huge Chris Rock fan. That was the first person I ever saw do stand up. Oh, you did? Like on TV. Uh, and I was like, I didn't know you could just do that and didn't think of it as a job. Just thought of like, oh, yeah, I just want to do that. If I have to work at Taco Bell mm -hmm. and, and do that at night, I'll, I'll just do that. Okay. Yeah, as a, as, a, as a hobby. Okay. Anyone else besides Chris Rock? Uh, that was probably SNL. That was probably SNL where we saw him. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, no, he was like hosting the MTV Movie Awards. Oh really? Yes. So a little more freedom then. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> a little more freedom. <laughs> the MTV Movie Awards. Uh, yeah. There you go. Perfect. But uh, then he got into what was your first comedy a gig that you had? I lied to get on stage. This woman was running a workshop for uh, like newer comedians and. I was in Los Angeles and it was at the, the Hollywood Improv. It was the first place I ever performed, which is a big club. It's, it's like pros play there. And I, I knew this woman outside of this thing she, <laughs> for just acting purposes. And, she, and then I just said, like, yeah, I just, I've been doing stand-up for years now. <laughs> And it had been no years. <laughs> not not so. We we're talking no. no it's we're been talking no weeks. years. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah. And then she said, oh, "Okay, yeah, five minutes. Then just come by and do five minutes." And I was like, Haha, "Yeah." And then immediately uh, went home and scrambled and wrote five wrote five minutes that night. What'd you write on? Do you remember? Your first set has to be a memorable set. Oh yeah, I spent a lot of time picking out like a, a notepad, which is. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "This isn't gonna help." Um, as, yeah, so I had a, like a, a like a moleskin notepad and then scribbled some stuff down and then it went it went surprisingly well mm -hmm. uh, for the f first time so I was like oh yeah I have to do this now that was like beginner's luck after that things went terrible yeah um, how but, soon after that first gig did we get back up on stage again uh, like three days later so I got other people that were at the show offered me other shows because no went way. well so then I did those and then when those kind of died out, had to go into open mics, which are the worst things in the world. Yeah. Now, were they five minute gigs after your first five minute gig? They say, hey, can you do five minutes for us at the follow up gigs? And then the open yeah. mic was probably a longer set then, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, they're like, yeah, like 10 minute sets. Yeah. And then some of them I didn't know were uh, bringer shows, which oh. is where you have to bring people just to perform. Mm -hmm. And for uh, every person you bring, you get like you a minute. You bring your audience with you? Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'm terrible at this. I don't want anyone to see me do this. So I brought <laughs> no one. <laughs> but then they were like, okay, well, then everyone else brought something. So you have to go at the way end. So there'd be these like three and a half hour shows where. Everyone would go up before me that had brought people, and then I had brought no one, so I would just play to the four people that were in the audience that, mm. that still stuck around. Yeah, but got That's you tough. experience, though. But oh, yeah. You opened up some eyes, though, apparently. Things, things eventually worked out. All right, so we're going to tell you how well they worked out in <laughs> just about two minutes. Don't go too far. We'll be right back. This is Iowa Live.